to the 2D platform tutorial with Unity and your lovely host. When I left off, we had just set up our first person controller, adjusted our camera, and begun our game. Now as promised, in the part one video, we're going to do sprites and textures today. This is a series, so if you have not watched video one, go watch it now. Otherwise you will be completely lost. I highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. So let's begin. The first person controller object has a second object attached to it called the graphics. Now the graphics right now are this absolutely wonderful capsule piece. I hate this thing. It's ugly. Okay, we're going to change that to a 2D sprite. Now a sprite in game lingo just means an image, a flat picture. So to get our sprite in here, we're going to go to assets, right click, create a folder. We're going to say textures. And this is where we're going to store it. So we're going to double click to go in there. Open up our game window, or our, our Windows window, and find our sprite. And drag him over here onto the textures, and he's in there. And that's all we have to do. He's now in the game. So we're going to adjust some settings. It's a texture. We don't care about the alpha. We're going to change the wrap mode to clamp the filter mode to point, the max size to 32, and the format to 16-bit. Now what this does is it takes this lovely little fella down here and it makes him sharper, um, it looks better, it's just image settings. The 8-bit game I'm making, or pixelated version I guess, because it's not 8 bits, um, it just looks better. So just, yeah, these settings are key. You don't have to do them, Maybe you have a very complex, very beautiful picture. That's your prerogative. It's up to you. All of this is optional. So we click Apply. Now we can't just drop this onto our guy. We need to make a material first. So we're going to right-click, create a new folder, and store our materials in there. We'll right-click on the folder and hit Create and go down to material. I'm going to name the new material player. Okay, now you'll notice our player is a defuse shader and has no texture. So let's select a texture we just put in our textures folder. So we hit the select button over here, grab our little guy, and he shows up. Now you'll notice in this little window that all this black stuff is here. And we don't want any of that. So what we're going to do is change the shader from diffuse with the drop down to transparent diffuse. And now we get just our guy. Isn't he cute? So now we have our player material. If we go to our graphics option, in the hierarchy panel, we can click and drag our material onto this object. Well, you'll notice that isn't exactly attractive. In fact, it's uglier than it was before. So what we need to do is change the shape of our player. What we want to change it to is a plane. Okay, so we're going to click on the little dot over here next to the poly surface section. It shows up in a lot of objects, and I'm sure you've probably never paid any attention to it. But this is the shape. This is what draws the shape of your object. So we're going to click that little dot, scroll down in the pop-up window, and select plane. Now you'll notice it's flat, and our player shows up on it. But I can't see him in the game window. Well, it's because right now, this is the way the camera is looking at it it can't see it because the plane is flat. So in order to get it to show up we need to rotate the plane. So we're going to go over here to rotation on the graphics object. We're going to change the X to 90 and the Y to 180. And now we have our guy. Now there's a couple of issues you're going to come up with right away if you try and play test your game. One, he falls through the floor. Well, sort of. Now that is because the first person controller has a little green area. This is the collision area. And you'll notice the little green area does not line up with our guy. So we're going to take a couple of steps to make him fit in this area and make this area fit him. Okay, so the first option is we can scale down our guy to fit inside the box. The other option is we can scale up the box 
to fit our guy. We're going to do both. So we're going to take our graphics, go to the scale tool, scale it down until we like how he looks in the game window. And I like him right about, oh, what's good? Right there is good. I like that. That looks okay. I'm sure you can't even see the difference. But um, anyway. <laughs> so next, what we need to do is adjust the size of our player. Because if we click, you'll notice that green area still does not cover our guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our character controller. So we click on the first person controller and we get a character controller. So what we need to do is change the center, the radius, and height of that green area. So what we're going to do is change the radius first so it matches the width of our player. Next, we're going to change the Y so it covers our player and is not sticking up over his head. So I'm going to drag mine to the left so it goes down and put it right about there. Now you'll notice the green area still doesn't cover his feet or the top of his head. So this is where the height comes in, the very last setting. We're going to drag that up by moving the little arrows to the right until it covers our player, just like so. And that's it. So that's the settings to make our textured player appear and collision work properly. So now if I zoom out in the scene window, you can see there he is. And if I come down into the game and I press the arrow keys left and right, and I press the space bar, he jumps. Now there's one more problem you'll notice about our guy. One, his legs don't move. Two, he doesn't ever look to the right. He has a phobia. It's a fear of looking to the right. Happened in childhood, I'm sure. Those are all parts for the next tutorial, where we're going to talk about animating our sprites, and texture flipping, which is a technique to save us some effort so he will look to the right. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.